Hi, it's The Wire. It is May 28th, 2024. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, Akuna is out for the season for the Atlanta Braves. In my opinion, this changes everything. Right? Even though I have some money on Atlanta on a futures, I'm not going to increase that amount. Because at this stage, I'm a skeptic on whether Atlanta can lose an elite talent like that and can still beat the Dodgers and the Phillies. I'm not that big a fan right now, it could change, of the Brewers. Right? So, in the National League, my advice is to prioritize the Dodgers right now. I know the Phillies have been red hot, but understand the Phillies have only played something like 11 games against teams over 500. In other words, their record is a bit skewed by the quality of their opposition. Now that might change over time. Maybe the Phillies prove to us as the season goes forward that they can beat excellent teams. Let me also point out, too, that if you follow historical trends, you will see that the hallmark of good teams is their ability to beat bad teams. And certainly Philly has shown that. Let me also concede that in my own private understanding of the sport, Bryce Harper is one of the few guys in Major League Baseball who can get hot and then can carry a team for up to 10 days, right? He's on the Phillies. Understand, the Phillies have talent. I just don't think they're as deep as the Dodgers are. Right? I know the Dodgers aren't off to a blockbuster start. But just understand, the Dodgers are still over 500. They have a better than 500 record against teams with better than 500 records. Uh, they have players like Otani um, and several others. They have great pitching. Uh, they have a history of excellence in recent years. Um, right now in the National League, my top priority are the Dodgers, followed by the Phillies. Let's shift gears and talk about a bet we suggested that looks like it's paying off. But there are red flags you need to know about and you need to make adjustments because the league is very deep. And that's the American League. The team I'm talking about are the very young Kansas City Royals. Now the Royals are doing well, right? Since I made a video where I suggested the Royals as a futures play with others in the American League, right? Because quite frankly, life has uncertainties. My goal is to get good teams, plural, at cheap prices, and then to ride that wave. Kansas City has phenomenal pitching. Just be aware of it. They're off to a fast start. Great. We got them at great odds uh, when they were less thought of. But I'm not increasing my stake in Kansas City right now, in part because against winning teams, KC is something like six wins and ten losses. In other words, they have a losing record against winning teams, and of course, most of their games so far have been against teams with losing records. Now, in a league with teams like the Yankees, teams like the Orioles, right, I question whether Kansas City has the legs to win the league, right? Now, keep in mind my philosophy here. All I want is for the team to be in contention in the last few days of the season. So this way, if I have a futures position with a lot of leverage, in other words, they gave me great odds because I picked the team when the team wasn't highly thought of. I just want the team to be in contention long enough so if I decide to bet against them and hedge the play, I have that opportunity, right? The worst case scenario for me is for the team to fall out of contention with several weeks left in the season. I do get the feeling that Kansas City is going to surprise a lot of people and is going to be in contention late. 
But just to understand, as of today, May the 28th, 2024, they have not shown the ability to be competitive against above 500 teams. With the Kansas City Royals, particularly in an American League, that is loaded this year. I haven't even mentioned the Cleveland Guardians. Right? In a loaded American League, understand, Kansas City is going to have to show us something to convince us that they can hang in the dog days of August. Those are my thoughts today. Let me hear yours. I hope you leave them in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.